Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft. This is Kaja Requiem. And in the last part I did some renovations. And you might notice that the garden in front of me is backwards from what it was before. Um, this is simply just because I usually do it this way. And when I did it on screen, um, I did it the opposite way just to like mix things up. And it just, it, it just hurt my OCD way too much. So I put it back this way. Um, these plants are slightly more ahead than the other ones were because I just used the last one that had grown and planted them again. So they are more evolved than the other ones, but nothing to worry about that. And also, my house is kind of done. I mean, I'm, I'm eventually probably going to put a roof on it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll be lazy and never put a roof on it. Who knows? And you may notice that my character is a little bit more fluid today. Um, my eyebrows work a little bit better. I did a bunch of minor updates to her. Um, so now her face functions a little bit better. Um, her eyes are a little bit wonky. But she does blink with me as well as do blinks automatically if it doesn't register so it, she doesn't look weird um and I also fixed her hair a little bit so the ponytail actually flows properly and you can see her tail now I raised it up so now you can see and how the stripes match on the shoulders and on the tail but yeah that's, that's most of the updates I did make it so that when I put my eyebrows down and this had it before, but it was a lot more subtle. But now, you can see her ears move when it wants to detect my eyebrows. But it's a bit more obvious now. It's just a fun little quirk I like. But anyway, um, originally I was going to work on this, but you may notice in my inventory... <laughs> that I don't have a sword anymore. Um, one of the times I died, which I can't even remember, but I think I might have died somehow while working on this. Um, I lost my sword. Uh, I died like right there and the sword should have landed around here. Everything else did. But for whatever reason, my sword and my shovel just like disappeared. I was able to remake the shovel really easily, but since the sword was a gift from the quest book, it's a little bit more difficult, which is not great. Um, so we're going to have to start working on Tinkers today, which I've been avoiding because Tinkers is annoying. But what can you do? So what I'm going to need is wood. I have some wooden sticks. I think I make it like this. Yes. Because I need some blank patterns. Put some blank patterns over that. Get a stencil table. I'm going to have to restore this so I can make a crafting bench. And I have a tool station. Um... What else? What else? What else? I think I need to... At least for the quest book. I know I need one of these. Um, tool station, sensor table. I think I'll put sensor table here. Tool station here. And what else did I need? Let's check. Do I have unclaimed rewards? Is it in here? No. Uh, not in there. Why do you say I have unclaimed? Oh, okay. Yeah. Got some bone meal from that. But what I need... Oh, it's making me make a furnace? That's annoying. <coughs> a parts builder. How do I make a parts builder again? Let's see. Parts builder. I 
How do you make? Oh, I need it. Oh, it's annoying. It's so annoying. I need way more wood. Is there any wood here? I have some, but I need to I go and make more. Set that there. And let's go get some wood. And then hopefully we'll be able to make some kind of sword. We can make a cobblestone sword if we want, I suppose. I don't know if cobblestone is good compared to, you know, bone, which is what we got from the thing. But I think it's better. You just always have to make sure that you don't make, like, the hills. And stuff, sorry I got distracted by zombie noises. You gotta make sure that you don't make the hilt and stuff out of cobblestone because that's like really bad material for that. Why nobody knows? Well, I, I'm pretty sure it has an explanation on the mob, but it's way better to make it out of wood. Funny thing is, I tried installing like Optifine and stuff. There's another village over there. Well, like a pseudo village, I guess. Um, but it actually made my game run slower, which is very weird. Because normally, Optifine makes my game run, or run better, but for whatever reason, it was just like, nah, not doing it. Sorry. And though it's still a bit laggy, I did change some things that will hopefully make the game run a little bit smoother. Like for, the first things first is I made it so I'm using the executable of VTube Studio, which runs my dude over here. Um, I used the version of it that doesn't require Steam to be open, which is hilariously just named No Steam VTube Studio in the files, like it's actually a thing that exists in there for you to use. Apparently it was a very highly requested addition to the program. Get some light in here. Not that I necessarily needed it, but it would be good to have. We should have some light on the garden. Let's see, do we have, yep. Let's just move these along a little bit. Let's see, do I have enough? I think so. What you basically have to do is turn these into a log, which you need nine of them to make one log. And now we have a parts builder, yay. But now for whatever reason we have to make A furnace. I'm gonna actually try to break this one and then just pick it up and place it and see if that registers. If not, that's fine. Nah. It's making me make it. Whatever, man. That's fine. So we'll just have an extra furnace. Go here. <laughs> I might at some point make a fourth one just because. Let's see, let's see. We got a good bit of those now. And we should have this. Let me get claim that. It's for a full guard, I guess. Um, and how this works is you take these stencils that you make, which I need to make more.
here and then we have four you put them in here and you turn them into these so for this I want a sword so I want that and then I want the wide guard um, and that should be all I need so I can take this I think I have this backwards yeah I do take the sword material and whatever material I want to use which I do not have the material with me because I'm stupid me unless I have bones no I don't have any bones so you can do that put this in here if I wasn't stupid there we go durability 80 so this says Attack 0.5, durability 80. And you can also check like 0.5, durability 40. And then one heart and durability 121. So a flint sword blade is actually way better. And then we put this in. And this doesn't really do much. Handle modifier 1.0. Here it's handle modifier 0 0.3, so you definitely don't want that. And handle modifier 0 0.5. So it's best to make this one out of wood. And I just have an extra stick for funsies, I guess. Now we can actually make a tool rod, put it in here, and we have a sword, wide guard, and a stick, which is not as good as what we had before, I don't believe, but it's decent enough, it's better than having nothing. To be fair, I don't know if it's worse than what we had before. Also, you can put all of your patterns that you have in here. I think I'm just going to make like two more stencils of things, like this one. And I'll make a pickaxe to use later. Oop, and we got some more stuff. I think now we're going to start moving on to Batania for the moment. Which for Batania, I'm going to put some of this stuff away. What we need are these floral fertilizers. So we're going to start here. I don't know why I didn't explain this in the last video, but you use the, because I did it on the video, but you use the, those little seedling things, the, um, uh, I'll double check the name in a second, but you use those to create grass that's spreadable. And that's how we got this. When you use floral fertilizer, on the grass, you get the Batania flowers, and they can be basically as close as you want. We're f really what we're shooting for are two white flowers, and we've gotten one. Yay, we got our two. Okay. There we go, we just got two. Um, another one we'll want is dark green, which we got a few dark greens, but that's not as important right now. <laughs> but it will be important later. Now, we can go into here, and we have this one because we need two of these white flowers. Boop. 
we have one more to claim, which is for the chisel, we get some marble, which I don't plan on using anytime soon, but it's a thing. Now we can start working on our Batania stuff. You can turn these into petals by just taking the flowers and putting them into your crafting grid. Either a crafting bench, a crafting table of some sort, or just the one in your inventory. So let's get all these flowers. Because we don't actually need them in their like normal form. We need are these petals. At least at the beginning, but after the beginning, like it's not too terribly hard to get floral fertilizer, so. that here and now our next step is we need to make an altar of sorts it's like a fountain a little bit but not quite it's like a holy grail is what it kind of is um, so we need some slabs I can't remember how to make this. <laughs> you can also, if you need something from a mod pack, and you, not a mod pack, but from a specific mod, and my microphone fell down, <laughs> um, and you don't know exactly the item that you need, you can just go at, and then the mod pack. So I could just put BOT for Batania. Here we go. Okay, it's these two on top and then it's, okay. I always mix that up. So here's these. And then you can take any petal and now we have a petal apothecary. Which we will put over here. Like it doesn't need to be in the grass, but like it's, it's nice to put it over here. And we will need our bucket to put some water into that. And we'll also need plain seeds for what we're doing. But first I'm just going to sleep quick so we don't get ambushed because don't want that to happen. Not for the millionth time. Oh, and by the way, this is just a chest that has some seeds in it from when I was moving stuff over. So I'm just going to grab one of these seeds while I'm in here. Also, these are pasture seeds. That's that's the name I was looking for. So you use those to make grass. Okay, we can grab some water and throw it in here. And now what we want is we want to take these four white petals, specifically the white ones, which is why it was telling you to get two flowers. And you just toss them in and you see the petals that you put in show up and it says that you need to add a seed and you get a pure daisy. And bam, you got a pure daisy. So here you'll want to place a pure daisy where you can have a solid like eight around it. Got a 
thing there. Luckily, we have other things to do while that's doing its thing, because that's going to take a while just in the background. Which, most of that's going to happen between episodes, but I'm not too concerned about it right now. Uh, I got distracted. <laughs> we need stone. And we will need... 32. For what we want. So if you're ever wondering how I'm just sorting that, I just middle mouse click and it sorts it by the Z, not axis, it's just what that's called when you look at a chest, but you surround this in stone and you can see that this is starting to like exude these little sparkles. And I will be back in just a second when it starts doing something. And here we go. And you may notice it has a pause there. That was because I paused while I was explaining to place those last few down. And now we just mine these. And these are called living stones. So we'll want to do this with both logs and stone, but we won't be able to do the logs just yet. For that, we need to finish what we're doing with there, with that quest, with the garden. And that's like the quest to get Matundus, which if you use Matundus, which is kind of like the floral fertilizer, it's like a different type of fertilizer. If you use that on grass, it will turn it will magically turn into like a sapling or a different kind of flower or just mushrooms like all different kinds of plants. And what you're hoping for in getting is a sapling, ideally a sapling from the like base game, but at least one or a few kinds of normal usable saplings. They can be the modded ones because the mod pack will detect those once you have a few of them. Um, and if that's what you get, then that works. But we're working towards this now. And I think now is a good time to set this up for the crossbreeding, which is the word I was trying to say the other day when I was just like, mm, doing this plant thing. It's called crossbreeding. <laughs> so what I need is one piece of sand and like a couple pieces of dirt as well as some crop sticks. Six here would be enough. Because the first one we're trying to make is sugar cane, which will be with the carrots and the wheat. So basically you just take sand, because it will only crossbreed into sugar cane when it's on sand. And do that. And once these two meet, because neither of these can grow on sand, it will always create sugar cane once it reaches this level. These two, I don't remember what these create, but we can, oopsie, see what I meant to do. We can set this one up, get our mattock here, and then we want one here as well. But the two main ones we want right now are mandrake and sugarcane. You'll get mandrake from the potatoes and the belladonna, and you will get sugarcane from the weed and the carrot, as I mentioned before. I can't remember exactly what you get from this one. I think it might be 
You know, it's not barley. I'll look it up in a minute, but... Now we can get some more of our living stone. Which, this is one of the, like, building blocks of all the little tools, machines, of sorts, from Bat Batania. But before we actually get into it, we do need living wood, which is created with the logs. And you may think, like, well, why don't I just make those logs that I made before? Those do not work with Batania, sadly. <laughs> Otherwise, you could, but it just doesn't register it, so. Sadly, that will not work for us. Also, the reason I have the sand set here is so that I can immediately move over the sugar cane over here once it grows. On a side note, uh, sorry about the last episode being so long. Realistically, I recorded the first half, then got a call from my fiance saying he was coming home. Um, and I was like, oh, this is probably not long enough for a video, so I'm not going to end it. I'm just going to say I'm coming back. Turns out it was probably long enough for a video by itself. And then I recorded a second part, and when I edited them together, it's like 40 minutes or so. Um, so sorry if that one's a little bit too long. But if you guys like them longer like that, like I'm happy to oblige. It's not much more to make realistically. And I like making these episodes, so. I'm honestly just happy to share a really fun mod pack that most people haven't heard of. Like, it's not a very commonly played mod, mod pack. It's not like Direwolf 20's mod pack or Sky... I almost said Skyforge. That's not correct. That's from Skyrim. <laughs> um... Sky Factory 3 and 4 and Sky Adventures and Stone Block and all these other blocks. Um, or RL Craft. And the reason I don't play RL Craft is because it's just annoying. Like, it's played off as a mod pack that's like super hard. And granted it is, but it's also one of those mod packs that once you get past the, like, very start, it's just kind of, like, too open-ended, and it becomes boring very quickly, unless you know what you're doing. Um, and it's just kind of hard for hard's sake. I prefer a mod pack like SevTech if I want a challenge because the challenge comes in like all this effort that you put in and it is also like kind of hard because there are like a lot of like mobs you deal with and such but in any case and that's why it's, that one's my favorite <laughs> another mod pack i'd like to shout out though is the farming pack i think it's like it's made by the same person who made um, Pokehon, which is like a Pixelmon pack, but like it's a little bit different, a little bit more intense, but they made both the like farming, like Harvest Moon type of pack, as well as the Pokemon one, which is fun. Pixelmon's always fun. But I think with that, it's going to be a good time to end. Um, next time I'm probably going to come back with this garden having grown through, um, as well as getting the last bit of the living stone. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and if you did, leave a like down below. Share in the comments if you want, I'd love to see your feedback, and if you want to see when I post more videos, subscribe. Hope you guys have a good one.
Namuriye.